what's up everybody this is Jose from Southern Life and Katie welcome to Pensacola Florida we got Katie on the wheel uh -huh. she's driving on the Pensacola Bay and you can see the city of Pensacola over there I'll give you guys a quick drive through Pensacola to show you guys what it looks like in the westernmost city in Florida on the Panhandle Beautiful drive, similar to what you'd get in Fort Myers. Looks like they're making their bridges a lot bigger. Bigger, better bridges. Get on the right lane because you're going to get off immediately. Okay. So you can see the graffiti bridge. Yeah. One of the first things you'll you'll get when you're coming in from the south, and we're coming in from, uh, from Destin, so we're coming up along 98. No significantly large buildings other than this large infrastructure project going on here at this bridge. That's pretty neat. They're building a bigger bridge. Water's kind of dirty. This is actually a pretty massive bridge. You can't really tell. Hard to tell from here, but it's actually a pretty massive bridge. Awesome drive, man. This is so cool. Look at the size of those arches. I'm sure they're going to raise that up higher. Water's a little bit dirty. You're, you're up here in the car. You don't realize how big these structures are, but they're pretty big. Big barge boat right over there. All right. Feeling good? Maybe. It's a good drive on this bridge here. Watch this car's getting too They don't seem to have too much of a skyline or big buildings here. When you get to land, you're going to immediately take a right-hand turn onto um, 17th Street. 17th Street. So you can go underneath the graffiti bridge, which is one of the most iconic things in Pensacola. One thing that's interesting is that you're coming into the city. They don't have any, uh, like I said, there's no skyline or skyscrapers. Not too many really tall buildings that stand out. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that tugboat pushing that barge. Love it. There's a lot going on down there. Pensacola is getting a lot of gentrification, a lot of growth. It's way better than Panama City, if you're wondering. It's not like the greatest city in Florida, but it's definitely not the worst. It's better it's than Titus. It's the oldest city. Yeah. Is it really? Yes, the oldest city. Really? Older than St. Augustine? Yep. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Hold on, woman. It was settled before. The yeah, 17th Bridge exit. That's it right there, 17th Street exit. Take right. So this was settled before St. Augustine? How can that be possible? Seven years. Yeah. Seven years. So I have to say no, it's going to be the little city then. I'm going to take a right, and then you'll be underneath the graffiti bridge. So just do what the cars are doing? Yeah. Last time they were here, they were building all this crap. It's like they made some progress. You don't have to stop. It's just... You don't have to stop. If you hadn't stopped, you're just making it more dangerous for everybody by stopping. Take it right. Take it right. Take it right. There you go. Big houses. They're building a lot of nice houses here. They really are. And there's a graffiti bridge. I wonder if they still have this. Well, I guess it's constantly changing. Oh, I guess it's constantly changing. Let's see what it says. Are there, are there people actually doing graffiti there? That's cool. Yeah. You're allowed to do graffiti on it? Oh, I've got to do some graffiti on it. Yeah. Oh crap, there's like a graffiti artist tagging. You don't have to stop. No, you stopped. Okay. Well, you usually like to stop here. I know, but we're driving. We're doing a drive around. Mm -hmm. Maybe just, just uh, swing back around and keep driving. Okay. Appreciate the effort, but we're three mile mile, friend. Not sure what that's about. Pulling there so they can see that. 
That's what so I was cool, doing. Man. That's a nice piece right there. Nice. Back up. Anger. There's graffiti on the rocks. I guess you're allowed to do graffiti here? Apparently. I got kids doing graffiti. That's cool. I like doing graffiti. Maybe I'll do a piece here. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do a piece here one day. So you're allowed to do graffiti here, I guess. Eric did graffiti here. Huh? Eric did graffiti here. Yeah. Just go slow around that curve. I might have to do these drive around. So you drive like an old lady. That's why I pulled over here. Mm -hmm. Go wide open that way. Uh -huh. Left. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do the drive around? Yeah, I think so. You gonna switch out right now? Yeah, let me drive because you you drive like an old lady. Mm -hmm. What do you gonna do? <laughs> you gonna see drive around videos. Kids mm -hmm. <laughs> driving is like scary. Yeah. You already know how it go in the A five O. Now that's over there, and I need to see what we're recording. Let's see if I can move this thing. Here's a problem. This thing's over here. I gotta see if I can replace it. Cool. Just I can just get this right. This thing's coming loose, that's not cool. Alright. Alright guys, so I'll do the driving part. Because Katie's driving for city driving ain't the best. <coughs> there he is. There's a kid doing a piece there. Let's see what he's got going on. Oh, it's nothing special. Bella de Pes, which is Spanish for fish life. So what's going on here? They so, painted the bridge. I guess they didn't like the... <laughs> what was there before? I guess you're allowed to do graffiti on the bridge. Uh -huh. It's not illegal. That's pretty cool. I think every city should have a place uh -huh. where you can legally do graffiti. Yeah. I really think it's a mobile thing. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to, I guess. Mm -hmm. You're allowed to do graffiti. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. I guess it's like, I don't know if it's legal or not. Maybe it's like a gray zone. Are you allowed to do graffiti? I mean, Probably there because it's designated. I don't think it's designated. I think it's just people doing it. Not enforced. It, so not enforced because it's so prevalent. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Who knows? Mm -hmm. That's a thing. Who knows? Who Didn't knows? they have some like Patravia a while back? I don't know what Patravia is, but uh, sure. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though. I, I know what you were saying. No, free Cuba or something like that. Yeah, last time. Yeah, but it's, it's a graffiti bridge. People keep. Yeah. Reinventing itself. Yes. It looks like they painted it to try to. No, it's just constantly changing. Kate. Yeah. It's a constantly changing bridge. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, headache. This trip has burnt me out more than any other trip. And we're barely getting started. We're not even. We're not even there yet. Mm -hmm. Usually when you spend two days somewhere, you get better. You have an early night and then you feel better. This is our first trip after her. First big trip after being, you know. Yeah. yeah. The views haven't done all that great. I'm like disappointed actually. No, we just need to live it. I don't know what it, what we'll do it. No, do a live stream. Lots of glare. Whoa. 
all the neighborhood styles in the city. It's kind of like Tampa, but like not as trashy. It's more mm-hmm. clean. And... We just got a text from that person you were talking to, and they didn't know. This looks like Prattville. This looks like I'm having trouble with the camera. It's like all over the place. Mm-hmm. I can reset it. We're back to traffic again. Here we go. It's somewhat better. Here's something about me. As a kid, I liked the Krispy Kreme donuts. As an adult, I can't stand it. Same here. Kids have a taste for like really strong mm-hmm. bad things. Yeah. I, I think as you grow up, your body's like, okay, yeah. I don't need this much fat and sugar anymore. Yeah. It was the first time I'd had one in year in probably over a decade, at least since I lived in Michigan, and I just could not stand it. They're strong. call back home and see what that ticket was about. We got something in the mail. Yeah. Oh, I know what it's for. Was it a ticket or, or a... Uh, it was uh, Toll? tolls. Tolls. We're always getting tolls. It's not a ticket? Yeah. Was it from Alabama? No. It wasn't from Alabama? No, it was from Orlando. Because we kept taking that toll road. Was it from Orlando or Orlando? Orlando. This camera has been, I haven't been able to get it right the whole trip, man. We were in the Yukon, so it got sent to, uh... There's still bullying a lot of yeah. people. Yeah. Cool city, man. It's gonna have some New Orleans charm, some yeah. Gulf Coast vibes. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting city. I like it. It's very clean, neat. Musical is not bad looking. Good vibes. <laughs> I would be afraid to be on the road with kids. Like people are so crazy today. They have no respect for anyone. Pensacola is so much nicer than Mobile, Alabama. Yeah. Mobile's gone to crap. <sighs> Pensacola's not a bad looking city. Yeah. Lots of growth going in. Mm-hmm. Lots of building and stuff. Temperature is uh, 68 degrees. Late February can't be done. We're just northwest of downtown. Oh, 
man, tong tong man. Tong tong man. A little bit of litter on the side of the road, not wild, but just a little bit. Montgomery again. I just feel like oh, I'm down it. I saw the litter. I almost got emotional. I saw the litter. <laughs> Don't even feel like home without it. Isn't that odd? I got no. I saw some litter and I got nostalgia for Montgomery. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Look at this house. It's got like metal bars in the windows. Remember like years ago? Probably. Like ten, at least 10, 15 years ago, when mm -hmm. you went to the dollar store, they had unique little trinkets. Mm -hmm. Like they had like an Egyptian style vase one time I went. Mm -hmm. They had these like little figurines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm listening. I miss that. That was kind of cool. You know what I miss? <laughs> you. Every day. You love me? Oh, yeah. Why the crap are we here? I don't know. We just end up weird places. It's not quite hood, but it's getting there. <laughs> where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Pensacola. <laughs> it's a nice city. That was a very... I feel like I'm in Jacksonville. Yourself. I want to get to know ya. I want to show ya. Very quiet. What's weird about Pensacola, it's got these weird, like, almost hood vibes, but not quite hood. I don't even know about Pensacola. It's like, is it the hood or is it not the hood? It's hard to tell in a few places. It's got like these like weird vibes. It's it's as well kept in a lot of areas, so it's kind of hard to tell if you're in the hood or not. It's got like these kind of like hard to tell for the hood vibes. We're on East Street heading north. Is there like a worse neighborhood here in Pensacola? But it's like, oh, don't go there. We should go there. There's a hospital here. <laughs> this feels like Montgomery. Very slow pace, like smooth, no traffic. You start to feel those like Montgomery vibes, like deep south. You know what I mean? Like, look how slow speed this is. It's like there's barely anybody on the road. Nobody seems to be in a rush. The grass is kind of tall. Nobody's cut it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone's driving a Ford Flex. Yeah. This feels like deep south already. Mm -hmm. You start to pick up those deep south vibes. Look at this road. It's like nobody out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is starting to get out here. You and Jerusalem shots. This is starting to get hot around here. No doubt. No the hall ran we're gonna go on. Square body, C ten. Wow, this feels like Montgomery. Okay. I'm not even afraid to go back to Montgomery. I feel like I'm already there right now. 
it really has those like really like deep south slow yes. speed feel nobody out on the road it's just kind of mellow i do miss that about alabama though yeah and where we're at it's way too hectic when we're living in florida mm -hmm. every once in a while it feels good to just kind of slow it down they're making barbecue like crawfish lobster i'm pretty sure we found the hood yeah Zero percent interest. Twelve thousand dollars for a Nissan for a '94 Nissan Sentra. <laughs> it's like, who needs interest when it's that overpriced? Here we go. This looks like an inner city road. Nice kind of hood. Nice. And a Saturday to hunt. We give you the price with the interest. Who needs the interest when you're being overpriced? Mm -hmm. For $14,000, you can get this 1997 Nissan Sentra with 204,000 miles. We're not even going to put interest on it. No crap. And the car is <laughs> guaranteed to break within six months. Look at this right here. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about. That's iconic right there. I might make the cover photo or the graffiti. I don't know which one's better, the graffiti or that. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty cool. Bro, this city looks just like Montgomery. This guy's from Minnesota. He came with his word, man. It's like starting to be a thing for people when they come on vacation. <laughs> they come to Florida for the winter and they'll bring a work truck so they can work while they're down here. I don't even know what's wrong with that car. It sounds like a street tree, but it's like. <laughs> okay, so we're heading north now. Mm -hmm. On 292. Mm -hmm. Isn't it West Pensacola the hood? Yeah. Yeah, that's the hood. I'm fine with not going through the hood this time. I'm deep into the hood, you know? I mean, this looks hood adjacent. This looks hood adjacent. Renaissance? I thought it was Renaissance. I was about to say, let's see if they got the right size. I bet you Mobile, Alabama might have the size. Not their rent the wheel. What was that fake credit cards? I'm sure that was a Kmart at some point. Yep, that was Kmart. Was it? Kmart Mall. Well, the letters for Kmart last for like 30 years. <laughs> Best thing ever built in America is the signs for Kmart. Like 200 years later, there'll still be like a Kmart sign. I'm like, no, it's not a collector's item. There's just too many of them around still. I feel like I'm in southern Georgia. No, well, because they were like on for like 50 years, and then there's like the dirt from underneath. This will be our second time going to Alabama since we left. Yeah. Barbecue with the gas station? Well, well that just proves they can't get rid of us. <laughs> Worst place in Alabama. Once you go to Pressure, you'll be like, this is the best place to live in Alabama. I don't even understand why I wouldn't want why somebody would want to live here in Pressure. This is this is the marble of Alabama's engineering right here. It is direct in auto insurance store. Wow, that looks so sketchy and trashy. <laughs> I'm sure that was some kind of hamburger place at one point. <laughs> <sighs> this makes no sense. Oh. Oh. Don't fall asleep, Katie. Wow, man, I'll let you drive and I'll look how bad you're driving. I am in the passenger seat. Currently, I am not driving. That looks kind of hood right there, whatever it is. Bro, they got hoods in all directions out here. It's not just like that one in West Pensacola. They got hoods all over. Yeah. This definitely looks hood adjacent out here. You know what we could do? Go to the world's largest buckets. Where's that at? Texas. I'm not really in Texas. Why are you always so excited about Texas? Because Texas is like... Texas. I have heard things about Texas, and I want to find out 
if it's actually true. By going to a Bucky's in Texas. I haven't heard anything good about Texas. Accordions are moving there. This is definitely a hood out here. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought this side would be a little bit nicer, but apparently this side's pretty good too. Mm -hmm. I know the whole West Pensacola is pretty bad, but this looks pretty good too. Sweet Cone, Alabama. A drive through ice cream place. This is like the most Montgomery looking, like utilitarian type of area I've ever seen. People are taking pictures of their car and used car along there. Mm -hmm. Whataburger. Bro, this looks so like depressing and brown and like utilitarian. This looks more utilitarian than Montgomery. What is my favorite thing that I only get once a year? <sighs> a job. <laughs> <laughs> favorite, not least favorite. Uh, I said you get it once a year, a job. I don't get a job. There's a once giant a year. balloon floating over there. I didn't last year. <laughs> wow. Wow, Katie. I love how, despite the fact you're unemployed, not trying to get a job, not trying to make any income, they always want to defend you because you're a white woman. Yet me, exploiting myself, working like an animal, they treat me like crap because I'm Hispanic. People's internally built prejudice are so bad on our channel. Our subscribers are good people but they don't realize how prejudiced they are they're so defensive about you yet you don't have a job you don't have any intentions of getting a job you're just a burden to me in society but they love and protect you because you're a white woman right. me as a hispanic i work 14 hours a day driving editing videos and i'm i'm the jerk because i'm hispanic right no i want to reply from you i demand an answer to this Injustice of society. Like you could punch me on every single video, and they would not care. If I even mentioned the idea of putting my hands on you, they would have called like Animal Protective Services on, on me or something. Animal Protective Services. Yeah, they're way worse than Human Protective Services. Like Human Protective Services. And like I say right now, you kick a human. Are you calling me an animal? All I'm saying is, listen. Hear me out. If you kick a person, you might go to jail for a few days and then like they're not gonna press charges on you. If you kick an animal, you're gonna go to jail for like ten years. Maybe six. True. So that's why I say they would I call. saw I saw like two cases. Like somebody like I think it was like Demonetization. Did did Here she goes. She's gonna, she's, I, I can tell you're about to get the graphic <laughs> details about something that's going to demonetize my video. Why does it smell like gas station hot dogs? Did you fart? No, I did not. It's, this city smells like gas oh station hot dogs. God. I don't it? even eat gas station hot dogs. It's like, yeah, it's not even, the, it's not us. It's yeah. OYO Hotel. Those like are the like worst. the worst yeah. hotels. <laughs> They're bad. Even the new ones, and they'll open new ones. It's, so it's like, it's like, hilarious. It's because like $40 a night, and like, I don't even have to look at the pictures to know that there's probably bugs there. Well, what's funny is even they're like the only crappy hotel. What's up with that? They're a crappy hotel brand that's opening new hotels. Like no other crappy hotel brand. I don't, I don't think brand. they're making even making money. I mean, anyone that I see is like almost vacant. I'm no. like. They are the only crappy hotel brand that will open up more brand, more more branches. It's not like Motel Six is opening up new Motel Six. Like the ones that are there, we're going west. Right? East is that one. You ever notice how like you'll never see like a brand new uh, like Motel Six? Are they both going this way? That sign was not. I hope we're not going in the wrong direction. It looks like you're going to a highway. You ever notice how like they'll open a new Oyo or whatever the crap? 